Hello happy crocheters, this is Lindsay from WindingRowCrochet.com and today I'm going to show you how to make this really pretty lace shawl. If you like this tutorial, make sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Here is the shawl we are making. It actually is just a simple two row repeat style shawl and all you're going to need for it is a skein of yarn. I am using the Karen Skinny Cakes and a size 5 millimeter crochet hook. It's also known as a size H crochet hook, a yarn needle and scissors and that is it. So let's go ahead and jump right in. You're just going to take your yarn and make a slip knot and insert your hook and we're going to begin by crocheting 311 chain. A good trick for this is to use a stitch marker to mark say every 50 chain or every 100 chain, whatever works for you. That way if you lose count you just have to jump back to the stitch marker. Once you have a 311 chains worked, now what we're going to do is double crochet into the third chain from the hook. I am going in to go into the back bumps but that is optional. You can work into the chain however you like. This is just how I like to do it. Once you have your first double crochet worked, you're going to work another 11 double crochet into the next 11 chain. So we'll have a total of 12 double crochet at the beginning of our shawl. So from here we're going to start our lace pattern. We're going to start by chaining two. We're going to skip two chain on the starting chain and slip stitch into the third chain. Then we are going to chain two again. We're going to skip the next two chain and then double crochet into the next three chain. And now we'll just repeat the pattern. So we will chain two, skip two, slip stitch into the next chain, and then we're going to chain two again, skip two more chain. Make sure that you don't get your yarn twisted. Work a double crochet into the next three chain. And you want to continue repeating this pattern a total of 35 times or until you have 17 chain left to be worked, whichever one is easier for you to count. But you can see how we're making kind of this X pattern with our work by working these slip stitches. Once you've repeated that stitch pattern, 35 times or you have 17 chains left. We're just going to chain two again, skip the next two chain, work a slip stitch into the third chain. Going to chain two again, so basically repeating that pattern, skip two and this time we're going to double crochet into the last 12 chain so that it matches the beginning of our shawl. This is a really pretty stitch pattern and you'll see later that I actually stopped at one point and made it into a lacy scarf instead of a shawl. And I'll show you a picture of that in just a little bit. So once you've completed row one, you can see how we're already making this X lace pattern. Now we're just going to chain one. You're welcome to chain two, but I like to chain one for my turning chain. We're going to chain one and turn our work. And then what I'll do is I'll just gently pull up on this loop and then double crochet into the first 12 stitches. So 
So row two is our first row in our repeat, our two row repeat. So for this row, what we're going to do is we're going to chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. And then we're just gonna skip that X. So we're skipping two chains, a slip stitch, and two more chains. And then into these three stitches here, we're going to simply double crochet. So when you work your, your three double crochet, it is always being worked into double crochets from the previous row. So to do that pattern again, it's just chain five, and we're gonna skip two chain, the slip stitch, and two more chain. Basically, skip that little X and work three double crochets into the next three stitches. Again, you're gonna repeat this 35 times, or you can simply repeat all the way across until you reach that solid section at the end of our shawl. Once you've completed your 35 repeats, now we're just gonna chain five more chains. And then we're just gonna work a double crochet into each of the last 12 stitches. So that is the first repeat row in our two row repeat for this shawl pattern. So now on to row three, we are gonna start with a chain one, or if you choose, you can chain two. I'm gonna chain one and slightly pull up on that loop, and then double crochet into the first 12 stitches. Make sure they're double crochets. There we go, we're gonna double crochet into the first 12 stitches. And then we're basically repeating the same pattern we worked in row one. So we're gonna chain two, skip two chains. Into that third chain, we're going to work a slip stitch. Then we're going to chain two again, skip two more chains, and work three double crochet into the next three stitches. So one double crochet into each of the next three stitches. As you'll see, we're still working double crochets into double crochet stitches. You can see how we've created a second round of X's. Now we're just gonna repeat this. So we're going to chain two, skip two chain. Into that third chain, we're going to work a slip stitch. Chain two again skip two more chain, and double crochet into the next three stitches. Just continue repeating this all the way across to your shawl. So when you reach the very end of the row, just like we've been doing on the last rows, we're just going to double crochet into the last 12 stitches. already completed that last little set of X's and then just double crocheting into the last 12 stitches. So now that you know how to do rows two and three, all we are going to do is repeat rows two and three until you have a total of 37 rows. Or if you like, you could do 11 rows. I did stop and make a pretty lace scarf by only working 11 rows of this pattern. But if you work about 37 rows, that should finish off your skein of yarn. So here you can see I finished all 37 rows and I just need to fasten off. So I'm just going to take my yarn, go about six inches out and clip it. I'm gonna yarn over once more and pull that through the last loop on the hook pull all the way through to create a knot, and then just use a yarn needle to weave in my ends. Hopefully you will only have two ends to weave in, but if you had a knot in the middle of your skein, then it's possible you might have a few more. 
You want to make sure you weave back and forth at least two or three times as that will make sure that your yarn end does not come out if you ever need to wash this. Once your ends are woven in, your shawl is done. I do recommend blocking this shawl. That simply means you're going to spray it with a little bit of water, lay it out to help shape it. It will help open up the lace pattern a little bit more, and then just let it dry. So I really hope you like this video tutorial and you'll check out some of my other video tutorials. And as always, thank you so much for watching.